How are you doing, guys? I'm going to be doing a reading for Virgo. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm currently outside on my um, patio at my cabin here. So what messages do we have for Virgo? Spirit. Virgo, a sun, moon, rising. Please. Like maybe you guys are going through a tower moment right now. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos? We have the Fool. Feel like you guys are wanting to take a leap of faith here. In a situation. Sorry if it's really uh, noisy out here. <laughs> we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Judgment, and the Four of Swords. So I feel like you guys in the past were really reaping the rewards um, here. To your success and I feel like something happened here maybe the divine stepped in like you took a leap of faith having to do with either a career or a situation possibly a um, relationship and you were really really reaping the rewards in the beginning and then all of a sudden you took a loss like you took a cut here um, and your abundance and I feel like it's because the divine had to step in and then it led you to this four swords moment which is anxiety so I'm gonna go ahead and pull some more clarity on this spirit please clarify this um, judgment Please clarify this judgment for me. Please clarify the judgment. Okay. So it's the King of Pentacles. Hmm. So I'm feeling like I'm feeling like maybe you had to make a decision. Like you're the boss. Um you might be the head of your job here, and you had to make a decision. Oh, see, these cards don't even have the explanation on them. I'm sorry, I have to go grab the book. Give me one second. So this is a six, I think it's cups, six of cups, yeah, so you guys, um, I feel like something good in the past came here, maybe an old friend had come in. And, um, with the judgment in reverse, that was like self-doubt or resentment. So I feel like you had an old friend come in with some type of resentment or repeating patterns. Maybe you were clinging to the past here and you kind of let this person like swindle their way back into you. Okay, because the Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse and that's that's a loss okay that's a challenging time with family so it could have been a family member that came in maybe you were feeling like um, controlled by the expectation of your parents or your partner 
or your family and you wanted to break away and kind of go on your own path here. Fear of moving to the next level. Maybe you were like comfortable in your situation. Okay, because you did the take this leap of faith and then people were kind of like judging you on it and like may maybe made you feel like like your like their expectations you weren't meeting. Okay, which is really weird. But that's what I'm getting. Um, I need some more clarifiers on the situation. I need to know who was involved in this situation here. Three of Cups and... What is that one? Yeah, um, so definitely friends involved here. Okay, friends or family definitely were involved in this situation. Definitely third party. The star. You guys might be um, the star in your family. You might be the one that gets, you know, like you maybe like you're a star on Instagram or YouTube or maybe you're doing really, really well in this um, profession. Knight of Swords. Yeah. You guys like really, really took this like this action forward on this thing that you wanted to do here. Okay. Because the Knight of Swords is, um, is fast moving. It's truth seeking. It's being assertive. It's taking things head on. Maybe you took this conf this confrontation head on, and you were just kind of like, "Yeah, I'm gonna deal with it myself." Okay, but let me go ahead and pull um, some clarifiers on this more. And if you're just joining, this is for Virgo. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. So yeah, you guys had this like strategy, you, you took like a different route, you did take a leap of faith, and you were trying to strategize this, this new leap of faith here, because you had a door open for you. What else for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, please? Yeah, victory. And then, okay, so you guys kind of like wanted this, this... The sleep of faith, you took it over your stability. You're like, I want this over my stability. I really, really want this thing here. And you are going to be victorious with it, but it it might you might lose your sense of stability or security with it, okay? Let me pull some messages for my Virgos. Alright. We have laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. You're the best thing to ever happen to you go easy on your ass by your own damn drink <laughs> all right so uh yeah instead of doing things with friends or family um i feel like you just kind of need to do shit on your own because i feel like these people are trying to take your shine here okay 
I mean, you pulled the star card. These people are trying to take your shine, Virgo. And I, th I feel like you're just better off on your own. You're giving too many fucks. Let me go ahead and pull some of my um, personal cards here. What messages do we have for my Virgos, please? I have narcissistic traits. Definitely the people you were dealing with. Could be you. Take it however it resonates, guys. Okay. True love. Maybe you found true love throughout this whole process here. Um, you were the more stable one. Obviously. <laughs> and we are too different. You're different from your friends, Virgo, or the people involved here. And you had all the stability and they were kind of just feeding off of it, okay? Alright, Virgos, that's all the messages I have for you today. I hope that these messages resonated with you. If not, please check out your sun, moon, or rising sign as those might have some more messages. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Bye.